Okay, so we want to make sure that we're keeping our flute clean. Um, it's an expensive instrument, so, and it's a little bit like a car, so things will go wrong with it. Um, but if we keep it nice and clean, then we're going to limit the amount of times that we're going to have to go to that repair shop, shop for costly repairs, um, as well as keeping it bug free as well. Nothing is more important at the moment than keeping your flute free of bugs as well. So the first thing is wash your hands before you play your flute. Hot soap and water. You're not going to be playing your flute out in the street. You can have access to a tap, soap and water, like we're all doing at the moment so that our hands are clean when we're touching the flute. The flute can be a bit of a breeding ground for germs as well, so we want to make sure that we're keeping it clear of all of that. Um, when we play, moisture gathers inside and it can be absorbed by the pads and the pads can swell up and um, split as well so that they don't make contact when you're playing as well. And again, that means just another trip to the repair shop. So I'm going to show you um, how to clean the flute. I know lots of you have done this before um, for years, but just a reminder of being really careful and making the best for your lovely instrument. Okay, so you've finished playing um, and you've taken your flute apart. Um, obviously, there's a lot of condensation and moisture that's inside the flute, so we want to make sure that we're swabbing that out. Um, take your cleaning rod. Um, it's this one here. Should have got one with your when you bought your flute. I like the wooden ones or the plastic ones because they don't scratch the metal inside, but it's it's not a big deal. Um, you also may have got a piece of gauze or something, um, but you just really need something that's absorbent, a cotton hanky or something like that to thread through the eye here um, and then cover the top of the rod like that so that you're protecting the end. Okay, so take the foot joint, try not to grip too hard um, where all the rods are and just inside through there, that will remove the moisture. Have a wee peek, make sure it's all out and down carefully. Um, the body of the flute, again, try not to hold along these rods here if possible because they're very fragile. In from that end and in from that end, just give it a little bit of a twist and a check to see that you've got all the moisture out. Be careful with the head joint because the tuning cork is here um, and that, uh, we don't want to be moving that at all because that affects a lot of the tuning um, in the flute. So make sure this is covered at the end again as well. Very gently up, twist, up, twist until you see it appearing by the hole there. Don't push it in really hard. Just twist round, twist the head joint round, twist the rod round and out there. Okay, so that takes a lot of the moisture out. Um, and then you should have a soft polishing cloth as well. This you can use to take your fingerprints off and just give all the keys and levers a wipe. It should come up nice and shiny. Um, apart from looking nice, of course. <laughs> um, this makes sure that any natural oils that we've got on our hands um, that's been transferred onto the flute comes off and it prevents tarnishing um, of the instrument um, there. So just give it a good rub. Be careful if you're wearing rings or whatever because these can scratch the flute as well. And that is you. So back in the case safely, make sure that you keep this out of the case um, because obviously this has got all the moisture on it from the flute. So in a pocket, at the side or wherever, um, just so that the moisture isn't again transferring onto the flute and being absorbed by the pads here as well. So there you go. Um, just another reminder that when you play the flute, obviously if it's a good long practice session, you will have little bits, little droplets of condensation that will fall out the end of your flute and out of some of the keyholes as well. So be very careful um, if there are people in your household that have to be away from any of that at the moment, uh, just make sure that you are mindful of that. It's not spit, it's just condensation.